This app is failing. In the past 90 days, it has only generated $18 from 108 downloads. Today, I'm gonna save it. With a few app store tricks I learned, building a portfolio of apps that help me go from struggling to pay my rent to five figures every month. In this video, I'm gonna show you how a quick 15 minute app store makeover can boost your downloads and get you more revenue. So I asked developers, do you have any underperforming apps? Turns out a lot of you do. I looked over 180 of your apps and this one stood out. I published the app almost a year ago. I'm just getting barely any downloads. So I really need help and I really appreciate you share some ideas how I can maximize my daily downloads. Waleed has been building for the past few years. He's the talented builder who created Appuly the simple way to create app store mockups and previews. He also has this photo filter app. I love photo apps. You just have to look at the camera roll of any parent and you'll see endless photos that their toddler has taken. What even is that? So there's a massive market for this niche. It should be booming. Let's see why Waleed's app is struggling to get any traction. Okay, so he sent me the stats for the past three months and uh, wow, wow. Only 108 downloads, it's barely a download a day and it probably hasn't even covered the cost of him building it. Let's dive a little bit deeper. The app is called B&W Vintage <laughs> Retro Filter Anzul. Lots of keywords in there. It could probably do with a bit more focus. Maybe users are getting a bit confused. I know I am. And these screenshots, they're on a green background and the app is all about black and white. I question whether it should be on a green background, but it looks like Waleed runs with the green theme across all his apps, which is kind of cool. He's setting up a little brand for himself, but it doesn't quite work here. The text is feature heavy. It's like advertising your home for sale and saying wooden floors, when something like warm, inviting space for entertaining would evoke more of an emotion. And then that icon, if I saw it in a lineup, I would never guess it's an app for converting photos. The app itself is solid. It's just bad packaging. Waleed, you've come to the right place. I'm going to give your app a 15 minute app store makeover. This is a regular series I want to run. If you have an app that's struggling, tell me in the comments below. Let's get the timer started. First, I'm gonna work out a strategy to make the app discoverable in search. Then I'm going to create stopping power by giving the app a clear visual identity. And finally, I'll revamp those screenshots so they focus more on the benefits. First issue I can see here is a lot of keyword stuffing. This is when developers can't quite work out which keyword to target so they end up just targeting every single keyword they can find. I kind of get the logic. You think to yourself, if I increase the amount of keywords I'm targeting, I increases my chances of getting discovered and showing up for more keyword results in the App Store. But it's actually the opposite that happens. It confuses the App Store algorithm and worse, it confuses users. It's just gotta go. We gotta focus on a single keyword. I wanna find keywords with good volume and not too much competition. I've done a whole series on finding keywords. You can check out my videos in the description below. Ah, there it is. Black and white filter. Solid search volume and not too much competition. Just what we need. It also has the benefit of being a term people actually use in the search bar. I doubt people are typing in B and W. They'd be typing black and white into the search bar and putting the exact match keyword black and white filter at the beginning of the app title will help it show up in the recommendation list. That's free traffic. How am I doing for time? 12 minutes remaining. Next, let's look at this icon. It needs to be immediately evident this is a photo app. A simple way to achieve this is just to use the SF symbols photo icon. And everybody loves this sparkles icon at the moment. So let's add that in there too. And because Waleed has been branding everything with his green tint, 
Let's make the sparkles green. It's simple, but it does the job. See how much clearer this is when you scroll in the app store? Users will immediately know this is an app for photos. That tells a story. Eight minutes left. To tell the rest of the story, we need to look at these screenshots. They focus heavily on the features of the app, but it needs to be focusing on the benefits. As an app developer, I know it can be hard to remove yourself from the logical part of the app. So everything is a feature, but the average user is not a developer. They don't care about features. They want to know whether the app is what they need in that moment. They've searched black and white filter, so what would the benefits be? Using the app, I would say it's about saving time and getting instant results. If you're stuck brainstorming the benefits, just ask ChatGPT. List your features and ask for single word benefits that describe your app. Then focus on the three main screenshots. This is what appears on the mobile version of the App Store. Any other screenshots can just be images of your app. What works best is a title, that's a single word, like a benefit or an adjective. You want to tell a story like convert and easy and instant. Then put the image inside a phone frame with a solid background and where possible add pop out images. This helps your app to stand out in the app store and makes it look more dynamic. The key is to communicate exactly what your app does within an instant of scrolling. That's it. Let's see the complete transformation. We've gone from a confusing generic listing to a more focused and benefit driven app store listing. I think this will really boost downloads from one per day to 10, maybe even 30. Let's check in with Waleed in 90 days time to see what impact it's had on his downloads. If this is the type of content you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. It was a fun video to make. If you have an app that's underperforming, let me know. I'd love to check it out.